Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Now, uh, I'm so happy to be with you now, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being with me. Before we begin, I'd like to congratulate you both for your work in the show. Uh, we're only allowed to watch five of the episodes so far, and I've enjoyed uh, every minute of what I've seen so far. And the first thing I'd like to know is how did you approach uh, the preparation for your role? Did you, uh, how much you knew of your characters before accepting the role? Um, well, I'll, I'll start that off. Um, you know, I remember reading the manuscript to this, uh, the conjoining book written by Tom Wheeler and Frank Miller about two years ago. And this is before there was a script um, or anything available yet. And I just remember reading it and, and, basically just not being able to put it down. Um, it was something that just felt so exciting and new and fresh and challenging. And Nimue was one of these characters, especially as a young woman, as, as a woman in the industry, where I just looked at that role and I went, you know, they're so far and few between. Um, and so in terms of preparation, I think maybe more so than others, um, you know, I got to London a couple of weeks before we started filming and we basically kind of went from the ground up um, in terms of costume, in terms of makeup, but also in terms of making that makeup kind of what the world would look like, if that made sense. So um, there were a lot of aesthetic things that went into place with, I think, preparation for Nimue, um, but also very much so the the skill set, um, you know, learning how to horse ride, sword fight, yeah. um, stunts and dialect. Th those were things that um, I really wanted to dive into and you always wish you had more time, but um, it was a real pleasure to dive into that and learn those before we started filming. Great. Uh, now, we've already seen some of the elements of the story of King Arthur, right? What do you think people can expect in this retelling of the story? Um, well, a, a big difference is that this time we're focusing on one of the female characters from the legend, the Lady of the Lake. Uh, and I think that, you know, gives a very fresh take on it and also a fresh take on the genre, uh, the fantasy genre, which is usually about, you know, a young man discovering his hidden powers and then coming to know his role in the destiny of the world. And this time we follow that same journey, but in the, in the eyes of, uh, of this young woman. Um, I think that's one thing. Uh, and I don't know, it's, 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 just, it's just a great ride. That's the way I feel. You've enjoyed it. For sure. Oh yeah. Now, uh, with um, I think you have a bit more preparation with these sort of productions, like with Vikings, right? Do you think mm -hmm. that uh, prepared you for your role as Merlin, or what were some of the new challenges you faced here? For sure. Uh, when I read the script, I was like, it was ridiculous because I felt like the role was written for me, uh, even though it wasn't. But I was like, okay, this is like I've prepared for this role my whole life. I felt like uh, with my previous uh, work and my, you know, my own interest for fantasy, the fantasy genre. And I've always been into horse riding and bow and arrow and sword fighting and everything. So I really am a fan of the genre. Uh, and I've also played, you know, a lot of different characters and Merlin is a very multifaceted character. Uh, so I could, you know, really use all of my different aspects as an actor to play him. Uh, and one of the challenges for me with Merlin is that he's a highly intelligent man and very verbal. Uh, so for me, it was a really fun challenge to really work with the language and to get to find the voice and the dialect and, and, and to be able to play with that, that language. Because I think the, the script is beautifully written by, by Tom Wheeler and, and, and his co-writers. And yeah, it's, it's just really fun to play with. Great. Now, Catherine, we've seen you in other type of productions, right? Like with 30 Reasons Why or Knives Out. What was the most interesting thing in transition from more traditional stories and settings to this more fantastic one full of action scenes? In um, I mean, that was part of the really exciting thing about it. I think, you know, I've never done something like this, not just in terms of genre, um, maybe even scale, but also I think just the the kind of challenges in terms of learning this vast skill set and being able to apply that, uh, but also keep it up for the duration of filming. Um, Nimue is a little bit like a fireball and so being able to play that, um, but then also kind of play that in a world that's so grand, um, it really did require, it was, it really was a completely different experience. And I think I learned a lot from that, from that perspective. 
Um, but it also gave me a lot more respect for these epic um, and, you know, these really huge productions that you see, especially ones where um, you hear about people training for eight to 12 months or whatever, because it really takes that long to not only have the skills, but also to be able to maintain it. That's great. Well, unfortunately, I think that's all the time we've got. I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to talk with us. You have, you've been very kind. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you, Andres. Thank Bye. you. You too. Bye. Bye.